All right, hey gang, Mr. Thorpe here with um, the work for the week of April 13th. Um, first of all, hope you had a good Good Friday and a good Easter yesterday and hope you're all well. Um, okay, let's get at it here. Let's see, for reading, um, the first activity talked about summarizing a theme and um, it could be a book that you read or um, uh, the, the one on the link or um, it could be a short story that your parents read to you. You decide. They want to remind you to read 30 to 45 minutes most days. Um, and also staying with summarizing and themes to um, summarize your favorite read aloud from this year. So we think back, we had in the year of the board and Jackie Robinson, we had Harrison Me, we had Edward's Eyes. Um, we were kind of through the Mighty Miss Malone, but not really. So, um, there's some um, some options for you. So summarize with theme. I think we already did that with um, Harris and me. So um, might be pretty straightforward. Word study. They want you to play around with that word bank and play with prefixes and suffixes. The mega boggle part looks pretty cool. So just like the boggle that we played in the classroom that I would project up on the board, you just try to make words out of it. So could be a good family game too. Writing, they want you to read about something. Maybe you can search it up on the internet and something new and then take notes about it. Um, write about uh, a favorite event in history and write a new chapter for our social studies text. Um, uh, basically an info piece about a favorite topic of yours. So um, kind of sticking with um, informational writing right there. Math, uh, they want you to play with recipes and maybe think about, we had story problems like this where you would have to double the recipe or cut the recipe in half, and it's that same type of um, idea. They also had a price tag, um, price tag math, where you find three objects around your house that has a pr have price tags on them, and you could add them up. Um, and then place value; those place value puzzles look kind of fun. So there's like uh, clues, and you have to put them in the right spot. So remember your place values um, as you go through. And um, if you forgot, then uh, get on your device and Google search place value and remind yourself real quick. Science, one is going out looking at the nighttime sky. Um, you're probably all staying up a little bit later than you normally do, so this could, should be something we can do. And if we get some nice weather, sustained weather, um, we'll be all set. So um, there's that Stardate website. That's a really cool place to hang out, um, and they teach you all kinds of different things about what to see in the sky and you know, whether there's planets out and um, all that kind of stuff. Social studies, um, going to feel a little bit like last year. Uh, they want you to watch some Liberty Kids videos if you haven't seen them all. I mean, they are good. They're fun. They're entertaining. Um, you can watch some of those. And then they, um, it's all about steps leading up into the American Revolution. Um, you know, things like the Stamp Act, the Quartering Act, uh, the Townshend Acts, um, the Intolerable Acts, remember those had a different name if you were um, British or if you were uh, um, uh, a soon-to-be American. So uh, look into that. There's that foot activity, steps leading up to it. Your special teachers have done a ton of work too, giving you um, some fun activities to do. So please be sure to look into those. And um, that's kind of it for next week. Um, if you create something really cool, something you're really proud of, um, take a picture of it and email it to me. Um, and that's also does two things. Um, it shows off your great work, but it also lets me know that you're doing okay and that you, you receive the work. Um, most of you have done a really good job in checking in with me and just let me know that you're, you're getting everything. And I love that. Continue that. And, um, uh, I guess that's it. So be well, um, be safe, be good to your family and we will talk again soon. Take care. Bye.